welcome to building a website using Visual Studio 2022. My name is Trevor Smith and I'm going to take you through a number of tutorials that will get you building a website using this software. Um, this first video is going to be really about installing the correct software. I have built this specifically for my students but if you've found me through YouTube uh, you're more than welcome to follow along. Okay, so uh, without further ado, I'm going to take you to the first page, which is the um, the main website for Visual Studio. So Visual Studio 2022 came out in early uh, November. Um, Visual Studio has been around for quite a few years, uh, but I'm not going to give you the history. You can look that up on, uh, on the internet. Um, there are three specific um, versions of Visual Studio available now. So we've got Visual Studio for Windows, that's this one here. Okay, and that um, is the one that I'll be using mainly. There is a Visual Studio for Mac, for any uh, Mac users out there. And also Visual Studio, uh, Visual Studio Code, which is geared for Windows, Mac OS, and also Linux. It's a kind of a scaled down version of Visual Studio and I would say less intuitive to use so it can be a little bit more fiddly but what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go straight on to Visual Studio for Windows. Um, there are again three versions of this um, we've got the community version, we've got the professional version, and we've got the enterprise version. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to another page just to show you the differences between these three versions. So I'm going to go to the downloads page. If I just scroll down a little bit and go to compare, you'll see that we've actually got three, um, three columns here. Um, the community version is geared more for uh, students and uh, kind of like the hobbyists or even somebody who's uh, working on their own. The uh, professional version is geared more for businesses or rather small to medium sized businesses. And then you've got the enterprise version, which is all the bells and whistles, which is geared for uh, large um, organizations. Um, as you can see, the dots on the screen here represent uh, just what you're going to be getting. So if you look at the enterprise, for example, all the dots are filled, which is what you kind of expect for that kind of uh, purchase. The Visual Studio Professional is also a, um, a purchase product. Um, it, it's kind of on par with uh, the community. And the community, as I say, is, is free to download. So we're going to download that one now. One of the things I will draw your attention to um, you can actually press on these pluses to um, see what you're actually getting. So um, in terms of like, for example, if you look at this, um, we're actually getting less as we move from right to left. Okay, so it does tend to scale up from left to right. One of the things that I did find quite disappointing was the fact that you don't get so many test tools in the uh, Visual Studio community or professional as you do with the enterprise. Okay, like I said, I'm going to download this now, so you can do that just by clicking on this button here. Now, whilst it's downloading, it'll actually take you to a thank you page, which will give you some um, information about uh, what you are uh, about to uh, install on your computer. Um, there's uh, a, an installation um, section here, which uh, you don't really need, because I'm going to take you through that. Uh, getting started with Visual Studio might be handy, but again, I'm going to go through quite a lot of that as well. Um, building your theme to make uh, Visual Studio look and feel the way you want is good. And then you've got a number of tutorials. The areas that I'm going to be looking at mainly is going to be the .NET, uh, in particular with web and cloud development using ASP.NET Core. But I'm just going to go through all of these. So we've got Xamarin, which is for mobile apps. You've got Unity for games. Uh, you've got ML.NET, which is machine learning. And then we can go down further. We've now got C++. I'll skip past the C++. We've also got Python, if you want to use Python. Uh, JavaScript and TypeScript. TypeScript is a kind of um, JavaScript made by uh, Microsoft. Uh, Node.js, which is also JavaScript. These are JavaScript. Okay, and then you've also got um, expand your visual, uh, visual Studio skill by area. So you can look at develop, build, version control, um, deploy, extend data, debug, co collaborate, and also DevOps. 
Well, well, I can see that the um, software has now downloaded, so I'm just going to uh, go onto that page a moment. So I'm just going to let it load. There you go. Okay, so now that we're on this screen, I'm just going to remove the browser from the back. This is the area that we want to focus on, this Visual Studio installer. Um, there's a couple of um, statements and uh, policies that you can have a look at if you want. I'm just going to skip those, so I'm going to hit continue and download the installer. Now, you do need to um, be careful with the installer that you don't go clicking everything. So we've got the installer in place, and if you look down here on the right, you can actually see that um, it's already got some stuff to install. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick items that are going to be specific to the task that you're going to be carrying out over the course of the next few weeks. So ASP.NET and web development is a must, so you must click that one. And if you notice, when I clicked it, it uh, shows exactly what you're going to get on the right hand side. There are also some optional extras if you want to use those. Um, I'm not going to select those for today. Um, you can actually select them later on if you want. Um, there are a couple of other areas as Azure development, Python development and node development as well. We don't need any of those for what we're going to be doing. I'll just scroll down and show you. So those are all web and cloud. Um, under desktop and mobile, we have mobile development, which as I understand is actually taking a big change next year. So uh, uh, we'll be looking out for that. Uh, .NET desktop development is an area I spend an awful lot of time doing and I will be producing some uh, videos around C Sharp. So uh, look out for those. Um, this is development, uh, sorry, desktop development with C++. You've got universal Windows platform development and also another mobile development, this time using C++. Um, for you gamers that likes to uh, d design your own games, we've got Unity, which is really cool. Um, you can also do games development using C++ if you click on this uh, option here. And finally, we've got uh, under other tool sets, we've got uh, data storage and processing. You've got uh, data science and analytical applications, Visual Studio extension development, Office SharePoint development, and also Linux development with C++. So those are the... Um, the workloads that you can install. Just down here it's actually showing me where I'm going to be installing this software and you can see it's going to go onto the main hard drive. Okay, another area that you will need to go to is individual components. So as I said to you, a lot of these things are actually bulked together in workloads, but there are a few things that are actually uh, required from the individual components section. So I'm just going to scroll down past the uh, .NET stuff. I'm going to go past cloud, database and server. Don't need any of those because we've already got them ticked, the ones that we need. So I'm going to go past those. Now the thing we do, well, I, I you don't necessarily need it, but I certainly like having it. It's the class designer. So we're going to have that in place. And also the help viewer. The help viewer will give you some documents that you can use on the fly to support you um, in developing your skills. Um, there's nothing else we're going to need, but I'll just scroll past them. So we've got compilers here. We've also got uh, debugging and testing here. Uh, development activities. Emulators, games and graphics. Um, SDKs, okay. We will be covering these things in other um, lesson groups, but they're not particularly important in this um, in this application. Right, you'll now see that the total space required has now gone up to 6.69. I'm okay with that. I'm going to um, accept that and go forward. Now, the other thing to uh, notice is this will install while downloading. Um, you can choose to download all, then install, but I actually find that install while downloading just takes uh, less time. So I'm just going to do that now, and um, I'll play a little bit of music whilst it's downloading.
there you go. Okay, so um, if you've got to this stage, you've successfully installed Visual Studio 2022 and you'll be ready for the next video. Okay, so thank you very much. If you like what you've seen, um, please uh, subscribe and uh, like. And by all means, leave some comments at the bottom if you want to ask any questions. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.